Hello YouTube watchers. Um, I've been watching on YouTube. There's a lot of videos that people have been shooting of the GR55 going through all the different patches and playing uh, songs with it and stuff, which is cool. But if you are a person who's thinking about getting into the GR55, I thought it would be helpful to have a video that shows the structure of the sound production of the GR55. So what I'm doing here is I have the GR55 floorboard editor, which is an absolutely amazing quality um, shareware or freeware um, software piece that's done by a guy named Gumtown. And I highly recommend that you get it. I paid him 50 bucks because I think it's definitely worth that. What it basically does is it brings out all of the parameters and structure of the GR55 tone engine to your PC. So that's what we're looking at here. So what I was hoping to do on this video is to really just show somebody all of the different pieces that make up a GR55 sound. It's an extremely uh, comprehensive sound engine. So we're going to get started here. Um, first it has the processing for your actual magnetic pickups on your guitar. So um, you can see there's a basic tone and you can send it to either the multi effects or through a, a virtual amp. Um, if you go to the virtual amp that brings us to modeling which has crap loads of parameters but this is basically where you choose if you're going to have uh, electric guitar sounds uh, you can repitch it if you utilize the 12 string emulation you can re-pitch uh, the second strings you can adjust the string level so for example in some patches you might want to turn off the bottom notes if it's a, a flute patch or something like that um, and here's where all of the emulated guitars are uh, you're picking from those volume and tone and the noise suppression so that's covered the Cosm modeling which is uh, I forget what that stands for so that's the modeling section of the of the tone engine. Now you also hear a lot about the two different synths. These synths, if you're into synthesizers, um, I've been around a long time so I know what a subtractive synthesizer is, but you may not know what that is, but basically this is a very high quality synthesizer of which there are two. I'll click this open and you can see all the different parameters that you can get at for each synthesizer. You can adjust the level of how this particular tone plays on each string. It has a voltage controlled filter. Here's the cutoff for the filter. This is an envelope that allows you to determine whether the filter you know, starts wide open and then closes or whether it opens up gradually. This will give you that you know, wah sound or whatever you want to do there. Uh, this controls how much the filter is affected by the velocity of your picking. So if you pick light it might go you know, be softer. If you pick harder it might filter might open up more. You can also have an envelope on the pitch of the synthesis. So when you pick it hard, it'll go higher. If you pick it softer, it'll go lower. And this is the uh, amplifier, which lets you stay the attack, sustain, and release of the synthesized tone. Two low-frequency oscillators. This is all normal stuff if you're a synthesizer guy. It's probably baffling if you're not. But the key thing here is, is, is the synth tones that are available to you. This is a they often talk about 800 some different tones. It is a pretty heavy duty uh, range of tones that you can pick from. Here's 16 different acoustic piano sounds, three pop pianos, two electric grands like the old Yamaha CP80s, uh, electric pianos, uh, which to me basically means a Fender Rhodes. You can see there's, I don't know, 30 some sounds there. Uh, organs, Pipe organs, harpsy, clavinets, uh, accordion. This goes far beyond the general MIDI tones that you get on some of the cheaper synthesizers. This is much more like a, a heavy duty Roland uh, JX synth engine. But here we are on synth bass sounds. There's got to be, I don't know, 70 or 80 of them plucked, solo strings. If you can't find a sound that you like in here, I, I don't know what to tell you. The only thing it really doesn't have is the, the ability to sample um, sounds, which is totally fine. You could actually produce that by connecting a MIDI cord to this thing and running it into a sampler. But 
Uh, it's an extremely powerful synth engine, and just to make things crazy, there's two of them. So this one is identical. You can have uh, any one of the 800 sounds on one. You can have another one on the other. You could apply one of the synth sounds to the bottom two strings, another synth sound that's completely different to the top four, or you could alternate them. You can change the pitches of them. It's extremely customizable. And I'm anxious to see, you know, what kind of patches people come up with when they use this tool. Um, in my opinion, the factory patches of the GR55 are really bad. Uh, there's very few of them that I would use, you know, stock. So maybe I'm a, I'm picky or something, but I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what people can do when they really have some time to spend with this. So <clears throat> finally, uh, you have all of these four different things that can produce sound. Then they have a lot of things that can modify the sound, like this, the multi effects here. You can see that the uh, floorboard here shows you the signal flow of what's happening. So, for example, here I can see with this particular structure, my synth tones are going into the multi effects, and then they're getting mixed into all the modifiers, and then they go to the to the uh, final output. So, for example, I could run my synth tones through any one of these effects, equalizer, phasers, tremolos, auto pan, slicer, flanger, guitar amp. I can simulate a guitar amp, um, pitch shifter, basically uh, anything you could ever want to do there. So that, that allows you to further shape the sound from the synthesizers. But you can also send the... Uh, the guitar stuff, which we have here, you can see on this, this green bus, which goes through this amp. These are all the guitar amp models, including a clean one, which is basically no model at all. That all gets blended together and can then have delay or chorus and or chorus and or reverb. And finally, there's an EQ. I think this is an extremely powerful uh, synth engine that people are just beginning to scratch the surface of. So I hope that um, this has done a little bit of good to help you understand under the covers of the GR55. Thanks.